Hello and welcome to Extra Play. Uh, my name is Will, and I have been very cordially invited by the Extra Credit Society Universe to do a little playthrough of Sir, You're Being Hunted. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, I did a little uh, one shot with Dan, God, it's got to be a few weeks ago. Uh, he invited me round, we played Sir, You're Being Hunted, and it was splendid. And they've asked me if I'd like to, to keep going and showing you guys the very real survival required for the very real English countryside. So, yeah, let's get stuck in. So, as I lack Dan, or any of the three mythical Dans, or the Tridant, as they're known, please insert your own Dan puns in the comments, uh, I'm going to try and entertain you guys as best I can by my sad lonesome. So I thought I'd tell you guys a few games industry stories, a few little tales from the world of video games, and go from there, really. Um, I'm gonna play this through with all the, with all the the deaths and horrors that. But do be careful finding yes. the next one. Yes, thank you, Reginald. Uh, so I'm gonna play this through with all the the deaths and shenanigans that will happen. So yeah, guys, wish me luck. Oh, Christ, that robot genuinely made me jump. But perhaps it's worth mentioning that your tweeds should keep you well hidden. Provided you keep to the heavier Yes, soul. yes, thank you, Reginald. Jesus Christ. So, I thought that uh, it a good looks place to... like there's something useful in there. No, there doesn't. Oh, it's and dead rats and mouldy eggs, you bugger. Don't look at it too closely. Oh, another picture of our robotic queen. As uh, I'm sure all of you know, she's a very important part of English culture. And... Uh, you know, without her, we wouldn't have the uh, horrendous robot empire that commands us all at the same time, you know. The north of England would be a very different place. Life of ammo. So yes, first little, first little tale I thought I'd regale you guys with comes from E3. Uh, I believe E3 of 2013. It was a good year. It was actually one of my first times doing E3 properly. And it was fascinating. I mean, we hear a lot about E3 from the, the sidelines as... Ooh, those are some robots. We hear a lot about E3 from the sidelines because that's sometimes the best way to, to find out about it. Um, e3 is a very, very different show compared to the likes of like PAX or EGX over here in the UK or Rezzed also here in the UK or RTX, which is going on, I believe, next weekend. And those buggers are camping the next piece. Shit. All right, well, we'll wait for those um, fine, upstanding robotic deviants to step away before we claim some more, perhaps under cover of darkness. So yes, E3 is a very different kind of show. It's, at least in its layout, it's much more like a traditional um, trade show, like a traditional, what's the best way to phrase it? Like a boat show or a car show. You know, there's huge stands. I mean, holy Toledo's. The first time I actually saw one of the Activision stands at E3, it had literal built-in flamethrowers. That's not a joke. Billowing fire shooters were part of their display. Oh, cry. Oh, oh shit, he's seen me. All right, well, wish me luck. I think I can... Oh, Christ. And literal flamethrowers. And this was a stand used to show off Skylanders and Destiny and a bunch of others. Heck, the Destiny stand itself with this incredible monolith with inscribed um, runes showing our universe in that very Bungie-esque style. And this was incredible. Um, me personally, I was working the Sega stand at that point, so I had the, the ever-watching eye of Sonic the Hedgehog looking at me from a, a great distance, making sure that I was uh, presenting my um, presentations in absolutely the best manner. God, I'm going to have to take them. All right. Who's hunting who, sir? Wisps, you are not helping. <sighs> Getting nervous. So, that's one of the interesting things about E3, is that it isn't a convention. You know, you queue up to play games because, for the most part, the show was designed to be for a journalists, retailers, publishers, individuals who needed to play a game to understand its quality. Oh, and he's down in one! Okay, okay, the other one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear your little robotic screams. 
All right, let's stay down there. Don't get cocky. Ah, oh, shotgun with two rounds. A weapon. Do be careful with that. I really think violence is best left to the experts. Oh, hush now, Reginald. I don't actually know what the butler's name is, but I'm going to call him Reginald. Anyway, so I find it interesting when a lot of people talk about whether or not we need uh, E3 or or kind of snark it from the sidelines, because it is actually a rather splendid show. It just doesn't necessarily... Oh, oh God. Sorry, Queen. Oh, God. Excuse me while I play Inventory Tetris very briefly. Not the most inspiring of things to listen to, I know. But uh, desperately important. Desperately. Okay, we got his ammo, so let's head back to where we need to. Um, sorry, where was I? Oh, yes. See, in times gone past, one of the big functionalities of E3 was that um, both... Uh, was that... <clears throat> Excuse me, I need some coffee. What's going on here? It's terrible. I know, I'm not even drinking tea. What kind of scum is this? And yes, Fred, I'm sure I can hear you snarking from the sidelines about my failure to drink tea. That's another story for another time of extra credits-based themery. Terribly sorry about that. So yes, back in the day, what you would get is um, retailers would attend E3, and based on the strength of presentations or based on the strength of uh, the games shown there, that they would decide how many copies of a game to buy and sell in their stores. So they might decide that uh, an unknown title they had heard of, they hadn't heard of actually turned out to be. Putting the kettle on now, sir. We'll have you home in no time. Reginald, not now. I'm monologuing. Excellent. We're making progress. You might survive this after all. Be very Oh shit the bed! Sir. Startled wildlife could help to spot your suits. Oh the piss in a bin! Local fauna might I just wanted to tell you guys about the retail market and video games! And now there's a giant robot balloon hunting me! Oh Christ, you can see him there in the distance. There's like four of them coming after me. Oh god! I thought I was good at this game. I thought I was good. Okay, we're cool. We're cool? We're cool. Right, where was I? Ah, yes. Well, so you'd get uh, retail guys would come around to decide how many copies of a game to buy, which made this really, really important. You know, this kind of side to the industry that um, we don't really see very often because why would we? We're, we're fans or, you know, we're individuals who work within the more... Ugh dubious cat food but I'll take it uh, who work more within the uh, the creation of games rather than necessarily the selling of them oh, it's bloody dark you have to forgive me as I stumble around just glad the robots glow Ugh. Um, so this was something that I found kind of fascinating oh it's a well cured ham good it's a delicious English treat that uh, fun fact, um, in the British Isles, ham actually grows from the ground like turnips, and it shows up like that. Uh, I know a lot of people say that um, cured ham comes from pigs, but um, yeah, they're just uh, they're just making it up. That's not true. It's all the ground-based ham. Ground ham. Sorry, where was I? Ah, yes. So yeah, so for me, the first time that I was attending E3, what really surprised me was this whole other level to the games industry that I'd never seen. You know... The first time that you meet an individual who has taken their personal jet to LA to attend E3, you kind of start thinking, there's a lot more to this than I'd ever really thought about. And all of them were lovely people. Um, I will say that um, one of the uh, the main gentlemen who worked on the Yakuza series uh, made me thoroughly ashamed of my lack of sweet style. Um, I know you're not used to preparing your own meals, sir. Oh, shut up, Reginald! But I'm sure you can master roasting game on an open fire. That smoke can be seen for miles, however, so do be quick. I can't help but feel, Reginald, that you're rather enjoying this. Smug old bastard. Ooh, drop of sherry. Don't mind if I do. It's a fucking marmalade! Oh, I should probably put a swearing warning at the beginning of this try and keep the f-bombs to a bare minimum i'm terribly sorry so yes when we see e3 we have to remember that e3 isn't a consumer show it is a trade show you know it's there for 
for business. And while it has some of the most incredible and impressive stands, it's there so that we at home can see the games that are coming up and be informed about them. So that retailers can go and have a look and decide how many or how little of a game to purchase. Um, oh, mothballs. And in some cases, so that publishers can have a look at games they might potentially want to purchase. Wow, that guy is cheesing it. Uh, the Noble Infantry, the Monarch... Okay, we'll read about the Monocle Conflict later. I need to sneak away very quietly. Do -do 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 -do. I hope you'll all forgive that all of my stories as I attempt to tell them throughout this will be broken and horribly lost because I'm terrified of dying through robot gunfire. As I assume one should be when one is being hunted. Let's avoid this town entirely. How about that? Uh, I don't see... Oh, I see a little farm building out that way. That could be good. So yes, um, I love E3, I really do. I kind of, I, all the trailers that come out of E3 always get me ridiculously excited because my trailers are wonderful. Games come and go and sometimes they don't always turn out to be what we want them to be, but at least the idea of trailers shows us something that we may possibly want in the future. A lot of times trailers, oh, it wasn't a building, it was an oddly shaped rock. <laughs> That's thoroughly awkward. I'm terribly sorry. It happens a lot in England. Uh, frequently I head down to, to purchase a cup of tea or a local paper only to find the corner shop that I was relying on was in fact an oddly shaped stone. So yeah. Oh, oh God, brambles. Jesus. Probably shouldn't crawl over those like that. It's terribly uncouth. Um, where was I? Yes. So the E3 trailers is something that I thoroughly enjoy. A lot of the time, we can get this wonderful thematic idea of a game. It may not necessarily, as I said, turn out into that manner, but you know, those ideas are what games are founded on. I mean, we're getting closer and closer to the point where we can make games that are literally the ideas in our head. But we still have to have a certain level of abstraction. You know, Civilization isn't a game where you literally control a nation. You know, it works on a hex grid and tiles, almost akin to a board game. But the trailer, the trailer shows you the feeling of owning your own empire. That what it would be like to be a, a grand conquering hero working their way from, from tribal roots through to giant robot badassery. Uh, I don't see any smoke, so I don't know if it's worth risking it. We're good for food. Good for food. We're good for supplies. Let's just skirt around these gentlemen. Might be time to think about getting a, a boat to one of the later islands. Sorry. And so, yeah, so I absolutely love it. Um, if people will forgive me a, a shameless plug, I uh, got my friend Christian uh, into a room for three days, lol, and managed to put together something incredibly stupid, which I wanted to do for ages, which is the idea of commentating upon the E3 press conferences as if they were some kind of, like, crazy uh, NFL-style sporting event. And that really made me laugh, because we, all, we often argue over who won E3, which is an entirely ridiculous comment, but it's a fun one, and we are in the business of fun. So sometimes I think that's a totally okay to, to have those kind of conversations, and I'm back, ah, oh, no, am I? Is this the village I decided to avoid? No, there's no, yes, there's no monument at the front of the town. Good, good. But the sun is coming up, which means robots will be able to see further, which means, oh God, oh God, I am being hunted. Oh, a pub. Wonderful. Unload the shotgun shells. Thank you. Oh, delicious local stout. Delicious local stout. Drop a sherry. Some pickled eggs. Oh, I might have to actually scoff down a few of these. Oh, nice. Should probably eat the oddly shaped stuff first. I'll try a little bit of the uh, delicious local stout. I hope it doesn't uh, screw up my aim. Uh, we don't need to distract robots yet, just end them. I don't need a dubious pipe. The only thing that's going to be smoking in this game is robot corpses. Ah, whiskey! Drop a sherry again. Okay, so this isn't going to turn into, sir, you are being, you have gone drinking. But at the same time, they do restore vitality, so yes. Uh, as those who know me will know, I'm a dreadful individual when it comes to drinking. Something I'm rather good at. But that is another story. 
Anyway, back to the wonderful joy that is E3. So, the other thing that makes E3 so spantabulous, which is a word that I mashed together from uh, spandex and fantabulous. Oh, should we take a boat? Should we take a boat? I think it's better than risking our hides over there. Yes. Yes, I say, let's go get a boat. I could really use one of those bloody uh, MacGuffin detectors, but I haven't found one yet. Oh. So because E3 has, is such a, a huge mainstay of the games... There are a number of islands in the archipelago. Do you mind, Each Reginald? Them is likely to have Henry. Fragments Harold. Of device for you to Fenric. I forgot your name. Try not to get lost. Shut up, butler. Save the progress. Please forgive me. Take a boat. Right. Where were we? Ah, yes. So it's like a industrial area of sorts. So yes, E3 is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And what makes it such a, a huge uh, circus of video games is, I guess it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So many people have invested so much money into it in the past that they do so now because that is the done thing. If you want to, if you want to go big or go home, you do so at E3. Dynamite! Hello! Ooh, melee weapon. Oh, the Dark Soulsian in me says that perhaps that could be useful for, for adventures later. Splendid. Sorry about that. Uh, there's a lot of smoke, so I can't tell if there's a MacGuffin around. Which is very, very frustrating, my good friends. Very frustrating indeed. Skirt around here. Frankly, I have no intention of tangling with the local populace unless I desperately have to. Oh, that's just piles of gumph. Ah, <sighs> yes. E3 does have the biggest stands. Uh, a lot of the larger companies will buy a very uh, resplendent stand for E3 and then use it again later for PAX West, which will always be PAX Prime in my heart, and for some of the other shows. Um, a little bit more difficult for companies coming across from the UK. To the resident, you're receiving this letter because you have fallen behind on your water registration. If you wish to continue receiving water, you must provide, you must prove that you are not able to collect water for yourself from a nearby pump or or a standing water source such as a lake or ditch. Blah, 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 Hecklesbury Tom, please bring a certificate of Britishness. Uh, every person has a certificate of Britishness, which is taped to the underside of a plate crockery of the Queen, just so long as you guys know that. Please avoid showing this document uh, with you to avoid slowing down the documentation process. Please note that you are subject to spot checks by an untrained intern. Wonderful. Oh, torch. That could be helpful later, but it would mean I'd have to... Oh, no, there we go. Good, good. Well done. Carry on. Oh, I don't know if I, I really don't want to avoid getting into a fight at this stage, but... You know what? I'm very tooled, and aside from a MacGuffin hunter, I really don't need to... I really don't need to kick off a fight with these guys just yet. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't look at me. Everything's fine. Right. Where were we? Ah, yes. It's Tales from E3. I, uh... Oh, terribly sorry. Just uh, paying a little bit of attention there. Is that red stepladder caused me to nearly shit my britches. In possible fear of our terrifying, terrifying English robot overlords. Um, for those of you who weren't with uh, myself and Dan for the previous episodes, you you wouldn't have known this, um, but this is literally what the north of England is like. Um, the Midlands are basically like a, a no man's land where the robots realm. Uh, the northern, those that live in the north, the uh, the wildlings, as they're collectively referred to, uh, the free folk, as some might say, have a very good time of things as they have managed to survive. Ooh, humbugs. I'll have those mints. Uh, as they've managed to survive this far. But... Oh, there's too many robots around for me to light a fire. 
No, I'll wait until I'm desperately in need of food. Oh, is that a plume of smoke? I don't know. I can hear a robot, but I can't see it. Christ. Trying to tell you lots of stories of E3 is terribly distracting when I have to deal with the bloody robots of the bloody English countryside. Oh, there's one very close. Oh, shit. If I job him, I'm going to have to job the other one. I think we can make it past. Sir, you are being hunted! Oh, he's seen me. Oh, shit the bed. Oh, dear lord. Oh, no, he beat. But did he... No! Ha ha! Who's laughing now, you stupid automaton? Where was I? I... Oh, shit! Shit, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. I need to be anywhere else. I'm very glad that I didn't kick off that uh, gunshot there. That would have been a terrible idea. Oh, we're not using a blunderbuss. What are we, heathens? Christ. I'm terribly sorry, I don't think I've told you guys any useful stories about E3 at all so far. So, uh, take to, we'll take to this little cabin of sorts. Oh, some more delicious meat. Ah, some lukewarm tea. <laughs> Suck it, Fred. I'm drinking tea just fine. You've got any criticism? Oh. Oh, I do make that the first 15 or so. Oh, yes. I should probably call this uh, this episode to a close and start the next one. Well, thank you very much for at least the pilot episode of Sir, You Are Being Hunted for extra play. Even without having a complimentary down, I hope I've been vaguely entertaining and e at least a smidgen of video game informative as I do desperately try to be slightly more than just an annoying voice on the internet. Um, I will be continuing this again next week, unless everyone decides this is a terrible idea and that I should be fed to our terrifying English robot overlords. Thank you and good night. <laughs> <laughs>